It's legal to buy and sell marijuana in Massachusetts, but it's not legal to mail it. And the post office is intercepting more pot packages than ever. Investigators say they're just doing their job. But as the I-Team's Christina Hager tells us, marijuana users say it's time to change the law again. Packages and packages of pot. It's still illegal under the Federally Controlled Substance Act, and you can't ship it. And people have to be aware of that. The I-Team has learned Massachusetts post offices set a record this past year for stopping bundles of marijuana. It's very concerning that there's still a focus on cannabis, um, just because we know that the focus is it includes money, it includes time, it includes resources. Army veteran Stephen Mandilli suffered serious injuries during an Iraq deployment, leading to a decade-long opioid and benzodiazepine addiction. Fentanyl in the um, transdermal patch. Drugs he got in the mail legally. Got some morphine here. Even though it was marijuana that helped him kick the opioids, the federal government classifies it as a more serious drug with no accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse which means he cannot order it in the mail. It really hurts the patient that has mobility issues. Why spend any amount of, of energy and resources on this when it's legal? It's against federal law, and, and our job is to just follow that law. Records obtained by the I-Team show in 2018, Massachusetts postal inspectors confiscated 434 marijuana packages through the end of November. That's more than triple the rate when pot first became legal in the state. We're always focused on the largest scale drug tra trafficking organizations that, that we can identify. But records show at least 55 of the packages seized with marijuana in the last year had less than an ounce. One weighed less than a penny. And while the DEA insists its real focus is on the more urgent opioid crisis, we asked why records show only 2% of confiscated packages contained opioids. Sadly, we know that fentanyl is, is very readily available. So we don't have a lot of cases where people are going online and ordering packages through the mail. As for the high rate of marijuana grabs, <laughs> postal inspectors have no plans to slow down. And they're looking for where the stuff is coming from and, and who it's going to. And that's really not fair with a substance that's decriminalized in Massachusetts. The punishment for anyone convicted of sending or receiving marijuana through the U.S. Postal Service can be stiff. It's a felony that carries as many as five years behind bars, and it gets worse for larger amounts and second offenses. For the I-Team, Christina Hager, WBZ News.